Okay, Wally, continuing so, with our deck theme. Deck series. Series, I like that. We are now up to cementitious wood fiber, which is called tectum. Look at that. Looks like shredded wheat. It does. Now, back in the day, this was fairly common. Oh, gosh, yes. Gymnasiums, armories. Um, Restaurants. Now, something that, if you've never dealt with this, if you're up there to replace a roof, why are you replacing a roof? Because it's leaking. Leaking. So you got to be really careful if you get up and walk on this. Is this coming four by ten panels? I don't. It's been, it's been so long. I think it is four by ten. Four by ten, usually tongue and groove. And it varies in thickness anywhere from I've seen, I've seen up to eight inches. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I've never seen that. Standard's thing. probably three inches. Uh, you know, depending on the soundproofing they need. So Ish. if you're ever up walking on this roof, you got to be real careful on these. This oh, yeah. is dangerous. If it leaks, all the nice little binder comes out. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. And this is one of the things that you really have to do pulls on. Because as it ages and as it gets leaks and it, it just deteriorates. If I were going to do one of these, it would be with low-rise foam. But having said that, having we have some that. fasteners. Yes, we do. So we have a polymer fastener, which we're going to use for the sheet. Mm -hmm. And we have a metal fastener, which we're going to use to anchor any insulation that we're going to use. Perfect. Now, the problem is we have two different heads on it. We have a square right. head and we have a star drive. Mm -hmm. So... You're going to have to have a couple different drills set up, different head, depending if you're going to screw the insulation down, you're coming back and, and mechanically attaching the sheet. And, of course, you've got different plates. So we have our handy-dandy seam plate, which does have barbs in it mm -hmm. for the polymer anchor. Right. Something like that. And then we have our insulation. And the star drive, correct me if I'm wrong, is only used for the insulation, correct? I believe it Metal. is. Yeah. Yep. Polymer is used for the sheet. Right. Do we have to pre-drill this? No. The jib the deck you do, tectum you do not. There you go. Yeah. That's right. We need one and a half inch embedment. Into, through the deck. Through Into the, deck. the deck. Into the deck, yeah. yeah. Don't want to go through the deck. No, mm, that would especially be bad. not on this. No, not this, mm. certainly. So obviously you take your insulation, add an inch and a half. There's your, there's your right. fastener. Now this is going to be my star drive. Right. Which is my star, which is probably a T20, I believe. Okay, so we've got our insulation fastened. Now we're going to come in and do the, the membrane. Now remember, this is a different... Different. This is a square drive. This is plastic. A lot of guys are using impacts on the roof. These mm. are very easily stripped out. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful when you seat these. If it's just plastic, it's going to strip it. And for some reason you don't have that thing all the way seated, it's going to be a booger bear to get out. So be careful using an impact because I guarantee you, you will strip that dude out in a heartbeat. There we go. Nice and flush. Yep. That's pretty much it for the Tectum deck. 